must remember this. A kiss it is truly a gold mine of memories. A new exhibition at the Smithsonian Institution called Hollywood, Legend and Reality. How much do you remember? I'm going Visiting the show, you're reminded that the movies represent shared personal experiences for millions of Americans. Film historian Michael Webb organized the exhibit. And I think it's that triggering a memory of people who have seen films and had forgotten what they had seen, and now it's brought back to them, and hopefully with it, the pleasure they had when they first saw it. The legend and reality of Hollywood take many forms. For instance, movies themselves have always ranged from pure make-believe to hard-edged realism, never more so than in the 30s. There really wasn't any other form of entertainment that was universally available, that was affordable, and that offered a mixture of escape and uplift, from the dancing of Fred Astaire as the ordinary hoofer who somehow meets an heiress, to the more sober uh, account of the grapes of wrath. They can't wipe us out, they can't lick us. We'll go on forever, Pa, because we're the people. The glamour of Hollywood is well represented here, but Michael Webb says that's only part of the story. The theme is that thousands of uncredited, unsung heroes make possible the legend on screen, and that's the reality of Hollywood. And we wanted to juxtapose the celebration of these anonymous craftsmen with the great legends that we've all known and loved on screen. One of the most visible behind-the-scenes crafts is costume design, represented in the show by such gowns as this one made for Ginger Rogers in Lady in the Dark, and the scarecrow costume worn by Ray Bolger in The Wizard of Oz. And we can see the work of the special effects wizards. There's a five-inch version of King Kong, one of many used in the original 1933 film, the Gozer Temple from Ghostbusters, and several models from the Star Wars trilogy. The most exciting model, I think, is the uh, mothership from Close Encounters, which it looks like an oil refinery and indeed was inspired by an oil refinery that Steven Spielberg saw and said, that's the mothership. Film historian Michael Webb organized the exhibition Hollywood, Legend and Reality for the Smithsonian's Traveling Exhibition Service. The show will tour to New York, Los Angeles, and several other cities around the country. Here at the Smithsonian, this is Jesse Boggs.